when you when you get on top of that mountain and you look down that hill, you look all around you, the, the beautiful sights you see, it's exhilarating. And it was something I always wanted to do again. And now here I was going to be able to do it. Here I am doing it. Yes. <laughs> As we grow old, we tend to lose our thirst for adventure. We go to school, get a job, and have kids. And even if all of those things could be amazing, in that process, we sometimes get too comfortable and forget about the adventure in our lives. But living by the yes theory means not living life in the passenger seat. It's about embracing challenges, understanding that discomfort leads to growth, and most importantly, that it's never too late to live. So, we contacted Wish of a Lifetime, a nonprofit aiming to shift the way our society views and treats our oldest generations by fulfilling seniors' dreams and sharing their stories. They are partnered with Brookdale Senior Living Residences where the adventurous 88-year-old Ellie is staying. Her ultimate wish was to chase her biggest passion one last time. Six years ago, Ellie had a big injury which permanently ended her ability to ski. Ever since, she's dreamed of experiencing it again and today after a few weeks of planning we flew out to Colorado to document the experience and support Ellie alongside her loved ones. So we're about to go down to the gate where Ellie the grandma is arriving right now. We're all a little nervous. I have no idea what to expect. We got a gate camera ready to roll. Jeremy. Uh, Ellie's kind of a tough kind of old school type feel about her but whenever she talks about skiing she breaks down crying. I'm sure the more you get to hang around her you'll you'll kind of see why everyone's so excited about her. Ellie! Hello! <laughs> My friend. Oh. Oh. I got <laughs> Nothing but friends and family Hi. here. <laughs> Thank you. Can I give you a hug? We got sunshine for you out here. We yes. got snow in the mountains. But that's all we need. And you guys to take us there. Oh, exactly. Yeah. No, exactly. you all brothers, you all look alike. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Ellie. Hi, Ellie. I'm Amar. Uh, Amar. Amar. Thomas. That's how they pronounce Thomas. it in Boston. Great to meet you. It's been over six years since Amar. I've been on skis. We're really excited to, to ski I'm with sorry, you. I'm sorry, I'm Cheryl. You're going to be skiing you? with me? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to, to be skiing too. Tell me again. <laughs> I've never seen anyone that excited to do something. Like just knowing that she's like that close to making it happen again is incredible. I can't it's, believe we get to be a part of this. I know. This. I haven't even it's skied so in It's so special. Years. We used to ski all the time. And since we met, we've been so busy that we haven't had time to ski. All right, skis for tomorrow. And a snowboard for the losers. So exciting! It's like taking taking your kid to his like dream fun fair. That's what's happening, Thomas. Where'd you get a pass? You got some good gear. We're at the ski with the grandma. It's gonna be the best thing ever. All right, we're all set. Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh yes. We're all suited up. We're all decked up. This is fucking sweet. We just got a call from Natalie, who's organizing this whole trip. She said that Ellie ended up in the hospital last night. She's been throwing up all night, and they're not sure if she's going to make it to the mountain today. They're hoping she will, but the doctor says it's altitude sickness, so hopefully it's, it's nothing too, too bad. She's a fighter. She'll make it. She was too excited to, you know. I bet she will, like, even if the doctor said, no, don't do it, she would still do it. We got a call from Natalie, who's saying that we're good to go to head up to Keystone Mountain, and we'll go rent some more gear, and... Head straight up to the mountain. So Mar decided to change up the fashion sense for the next two days. <laughs> the Egyptian boy uh, skiing uh, with her dad's outfit. <laughs> I just want to make sure it's not gonna... Gear check! Let's make it up the mountain. I feel so badass right now. <laughs> she got any sleep? Yeah. Um, maybe three hours. Um. She told me when she got here, she's like, there's no way I was going to miss this. I could be sick on the way up here, but I you know, was going to be here. She obviously isn't feeling great, but uh, when we got in there and parked her, she's like, what can we do to get me out there now? <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so she's nonstop. 88 year old, I mean, who does that? After a night in the hospital, who does that? I'm about to see Ellie again for the first time since the airport. Hi! Hi! Hi, Ellie. Do you like my suit? I love this jumpsuit. I love that suit. Those are the kind of suits I always wore, all colorful and everything. That's why, that's why I wore it. And she said, if I should drop dead on the slope, she says, don't worry about it. I'll die doing what I wanted to do. Uh -huh. Are you ready, Ellie? As soon as I get clothes on and everything, yes, I'll be ready. It's only 72. That doesn't, that doesn't look good. Oh, what is it? It says 72. Her finger's oh. really cold. Where is her Take some deep breaths, Ellie. 
So her oxygen levels are really low right now, so we're just trying to acclimate her to the altitude. Yeah, she's the champ. Just trying to make sure she stays calm and yeah. gets accustomed to the weather. And she's gonna need to stay on oxygen. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me go tell Amy that. You guys look beautiful. Thank, thank you. Happy and you guys, you all handsome young men too. Oh, thank I you. Well. I was 33 when I first started skiing. Yeah. Aging is only a number. Your body tells you what you can do, what you can't do, and you're never too old to ski. True that. I've used my body all up. I did everything I wanted to do. Now I'm paying for it, but I, I was happy doing it all. And that's been my motto all my life. As long as it's something you want to do and you can do it, do it. You can still try to do it just as I'm doing today. So. What are the questions you guys got? <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> oh, I'd make you all cry and tear up too. Thank you very much for all you doing, Bobby. It hits so hard because it's so real. Like it's like life at 100% to the very end. <laughs> Thank you very much. I can't believe this guy probably didn't remember my name after like a week. I knew him, and you already know my name. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with names. Yeah, you are. Makes everyone feel good that you know who they are. That's wow. Yeah. All right, let's Move. let's hit the slopes. Yeah. Yes, let's do it. Yes. Woo! All right. Word on the street is that you're not the best skier, and she's gonna kick your ass. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course she is. I mean, she taught me everything I know. <laughs> so we just did another oxygen blood test. She's actually a lot higher. She's just ready to go on the mountain right now, so we're yeah. good to go. Yes. Well, that looks like a good ride. Ready, ready to, to go. Ready to rock and roll. Yes, ready to rock and roll. Down. Perfect. Okay, good. I can't walk in these boots. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright Ellie, so this is actually a perfect bit. You made my job super easy. I'll make your job super easy. You did! <laughs> you, did. <laughs> you did! That wasn't super easy. Here we go, have a great time. I, I will have a marvelous time. Yeah. I'm so happy to have all you guys around me. It's Thank you so much for me. I feel, I feel like a princess today. <laughs> she is so <laughs> adorable. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How you doing? We're so great. Get out of the way and get. Let's get going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we are ready. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh yeah. <laughs> ready to rock and roll? We're ready to rock and roll. I am. You guys are. Yeah. One for the money. Two for the show. Three to get ready. Let's go. Let's go. She's going. All right, Ellie, here we go. Yes, ma'am, here we go. She's going up. Yay! Woo! Holy! Sliding down the mountainside. So exhilarating. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm actually out here again. Yeah, you did it! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm here. Alright, what do you say we go throw a 360 for you? We'll get you out on seven. Every right? game of whatever you're doing. Alright, let's do it then. Spending a few days with Ellie made us realize that what you make of life is truly up to you. You either decide to make it one big adventure until the very last second, or you lose it bit by bit to mundane routines. Watching an 88-year-old overcome multiple injuries and fulfill her biggest wish before our eyes was by far one of the most inspirational moments we've ever experienced on this channel. 
We're more motivated than ever to tell stories of love, courage, and positivity, and to continue spreading the yes theory to as many humans we possibly can. And if your grandparents have a big wish that they want to fulfill, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. Tell us their story, and uh, if something stands out, who knows? Maybe we'll make it happen. We'll see you on Thursday.